Hello and welcome to this SQL challenge called the Stolen Gemstones. In this challenge we're going to learn how to write an SQL query to filter some data in a database. First we need to hear about the story behind this challenge. On July the 12th, a hundred prestigious guests were invited to the Precious Gemstones Exposition at the famous Royal Castle, England. This exposition provides a unique opportunity to admire the most precious and valuable gemstones in the world. The gemstones were exposed in the different rooms of the castle and were protected with a state-of-the-art security system. At 12 past 10 pm, a power cut left all the guests in the dark for a duration of just under 5 minutes. At the same time, the security system was deactivated. When the power returned, the visitors were aghast to see that the 12 most precious gemstones of the expositions had simply vanished. The 12 gemstones were located in 12 different rooms. It would have been impossible for a single individual to steal more than one gemstone in such a short time. This means that this carefully planned robbery has been performed by a team of at least 12 robbers. The guests have collected evidence left behind by the robbers and have asked you to use it to identify the potential robbers. You have also been given access to a database of all staff members and guests who were present on that night. We are counting on you. Will you be able to identify the 12 robbers and confront them to retrieve the precious gemstones? Your mission starts now. Okay, it's now our turn to complete this SQL investigation. So let's scroll down on this blog post. And what you will find here is how to access your database of suspects. Now you can either download this database as a CSV file, and then you can use it with your own database management system, like Microsoft Access, or alternatively, you can use the online version by using this button here. Now, what you've got here is a single table called suspects. And in these tables, we've got all those fields here, uh, including the title, the first name, the last name, the gender, and so on, of all the staff members and the guests who are invited to this exposition. And you can scroll down and see all the records in this table. There should be around 100, 120 records altogether. Okay. Now in these tables we've got different types of data. Most of it is based on text, like the title, the first name, the last name. Uh, we've got the gender, which is either male or female, the country or the nationality, and so on. Then we've got some float data, like the height and the shoe size, and we've got some Boolean data, whether the guest is a vegetarian, whether they are vegan, whether they are the staff member, or whether they are a guest. And if they are a staff member, there is a team field. Now we may have to scroll down a little bit to the right here. Uh, that tell us which team they belong to. So it could be a security staff member. It could be gardening staff member. It could be uh, a receptionist. Okay. At the top here, you've got three buttons. Uh, we're mainly going to use uh, the first one, which gives us access to the data and all the fields. And we're going to write our SQL queries using this online SQL editor. And there is a query already started for you that says select star. Now this here, this wildcard character means every single field from the table, from the suspects table where the guest is true. Now even though guest is a boolean, uh, we still have in this online editor use speech marks when you use true or false. And we have to use true and false in uppercase. So if I execute this query, is going to return all the guests from this database and it's most of the records. I can then add more criteria here and that's what we're going to learn in this challenge. So if I go back to the blog post, I've got five samples on how to write an SQL query. Um, you will see that they all start with select star from suspects where and this is where we then apply our criteria. So for instance, if I want all the male suspects who are from Australia, this is how I would do it. Uh, the second one is quite interesting. 
uh, select all the suspects where the first name like a and then the percentage sign and that means their first name start with an a followed by any characters okay um, so their initial basically is an a um, we can also use uh, different types of boolean operators we can use and and we can use or but if we do so it's good practice to use brackets um, so that we know what's happening first so for instance if i want um, anyone from north america like usa or canada i would do it using a no statements but if i also want them to be male i would then use an end um, statement finally we can use comparison operators like greater or equal to uh, because we've got a number here a float we don't need the speech marks and then we have to be careful once again about the case sensitivity um, in our data so staff equal true in uppercase the same way we had usa here in uppercase but canada starting with an uppercase c uh, and then being lowercase all of this does matter in sql so uh, now how are we going to find our suspects this is where we've got all the evidence collected by the guests uh, we've got all the 12 gemstones and each of them will give us uh, different clues on how we're going to find the suspect. So if I start with the first one, we're going to do the first one together and then you will have a go at doing everything else. So the first gemstone is an intense red ruby which was exposed in the main lounge. Now that's not giving us any clue. It would appear that the rubber broke the glass case to grab the precious stone. They then broke the window and jumped outside. Still no clue at this stage. Footprints have been found outside, just below the broken window. The shoes are male shoes, size 10.5. Now that is our first set of clues. Um, they are not the type of shoes worn by the staff as part of their uniform, so the first rubber must be one of the guests. And that's another clue. Can you use these clues to identify a potential culprit from the guest and staff list? So we want a male members um, not a member of staff so we want a guest and we want their shoe size to be 10.5 so let's put that into an sql query back to my sql editor select star from suspect where guest equal true that's the case we know they are a member of guest we also know that they are male so i'm going to put end gender equal Mail. The case does matter, so I need to use the same case as I can see in the data here. So it's uppercase M followed by lowercase male, and I need another criteria here. Now, let's say I'm only using those two criteria and execute my query. This is returning all the male guests, and it's quite a lot of them, okay? Uh, which means I need to find another clue to actually get to the right. Um, culprit so um, I'm going to use the shoe size and now I've got to use uh, the field name exactly how it was mentioned here so it's shoe underscore size and then equal it's a number I'm typing in so I don't need the speech marks and the shoe size if you remember was 10.5 okay now if I run this query it gives me just one suspect and that's really what we want if you run a query that gives you more than one suspect that means you forgot to include a criteria for instance if i don't put this one here and execute my query it's giving me more than one that means i need to read through the evidence again and make sure i've got all the criteria in okay now that's my first um suspect mr ian carrot he's i can check just to make sure he's a member of the guest list He's got a shoe size of 10.5 and is male. Perfect. So I can keep that as my first suspect. And then I'm going to go back to the blog. I'm going to go to the next gemstone and I'm going to read through the clues. On this one here, uh, we know that the initials of our guest are A and H. Now, this is where we're going to have to use the like and the percentage sign. So the first name will be like a percentage and the last name will be like H percentage. And uh, we also have another criteria. So I'll let you read through it. I'm not going to do this one for you. I'm going to let you have a go. And you've got 12 suspects to find. So you've got 12 different queries. But remember, the rule is each query must return 
one and only one suspect. Otherwise, that means you've missed one of the criteria. Okay, well, good luck with this investigation and hopefully you will find all 12 robbers. Good luck.